For more than three years, Queenslanders have endured difficult water conditions. With dam levels above 60 per cent, the Premier announced the drought was over, but restrictions won't be lifted until December. This is a cautious approach. We've learnt the hard way what happens uh, when and how quickly the dam levels can drop. She also announced the responsibility for Water Commission activities was being reorganised. It means one single commissioner instead of three, which she says will save up to $15 million over the next four years. The Water Commission was a response to our worst ever water crisis. Uh, that crisis and that drought is now over. Uh, we need to reallocate these resources to higher priorities and that's what we'll do. And that includes the standing down of Commissioner Elizabeth Nosworthy. After a series of bungles, including the building of a swimming pool in her own backyard, Ms Nosworthy will step down once her contract expires next month. The Premier says it's all a part of a transition phase. But the opposition leader says it's more evidence the Brisbane City Council was doing a better job before the government took control. They warned the state government that they could deliver water better. This, gov this arrogant government took over the water and now look at the mess that Queenslanders are in. And he says the government changed the expenditure of the Water Commission to suit the economic crisis. I was in the House when the Premier originally said it was going to cost $2.5 million and of course now last year it was $28 million. So now the Premier is making a virtue of the fact that supposedly they're saving money because it's going to be uh, some of the $28 million they're going to save. Jenna Hudson, QUT News.